We're standing running from over the hill of adventures. And today, it is Quartzsite 2022. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to Over the Hill Adventures. Today we're going to the 2022 RV show in Quartzsite and a little different than last year. We headed out here by ourselves last year and this year we're joining a couple of our friends. We are meeting up with Airstream Trippin. And if you guys haven't met them, um, follow them on Instagram. It's all about the hang. They, they got it right. They are all about relationships, friends, and food. <laughs> so they are great folks. So we actually are with them today. They're in the car ahead of us up there with our friends Todd and Tammy. And then we've got our brother-in-law and sister-in-law behind us. I think. Are they behind us? Yeah. Yeah. So Jim and Shelly are back there and they're actually camping. They're down here camping. So we'll kind of show you a little bit about uh, where they're staying. They got full hookups. It's called the Scenic? Scenic Road. Scenic Road RV Park. And if you can see off in the distance here, we've got the big tent. And then they also have like the gem show. Oh, I don't even know. There's so much. It looks like a big... What do we call it? A flea market. It's going to be fun. We're looking forward to looking at some of the um, RVs that they have there and going through the different models. The Flippin' Nomad is there and she's going to show off her, uh, her flip. Here we go. <laughs> It. We parked at the Quartzsite 2022. Check it out. We're going to make some introductions. Airstream trip in. What up, baby? How y'all doing? Keeping it sexy in Quartzsite. What up? <laughs> <laughs> it's true fashion. There's the wife. Hello. There's Tammy. There's Shelly. Brandon. Batman My brother Brandon. Jim. Peace, love. We, should, we, we, we used to work together. No, I think that's peace, love, and hair grease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me what this is. Go ahead, Brad. So it's, it's called a bucket stool. It turns any bucket into a, into a squibbling stool. Whether it be a three and a half gallon bucket, a five gallon bucket, or you can do a six gallon bucket. Easier to stand back up. No, it's comfortable, yeah. And then your hips are higher than your knees, he said, so it's easy to pop right sure. up. What are you getting, Kevin? I am buying. Oh, I'm buying this pole because I'm getting my Starlink satellite dish. So this pole is going to mount uh, my Starlink, and it's going to keep me from having to mount it to a bumper because I can't because I have an airstream. So this is going to go down to my flagpole holder that goes under the tongue. <laughs> And then my Starling dish is going to go mounted on the top right there. Oh, Kenny, is that it? All right, so if you guys haven't That's figured it out, That's the dish you're going to get. Starlink is the way to go. Wanted to get this. Not this the one. best on the market. I got that one. Good price. And it's in the, I got it in the one sixty nine. It is a very good product. I haven't had one product. How we got started? How you got started? Me and my brother-in-law okay. were having Bailey's and coffee on the rim of the Snake River Canyon in Twin Falls. He was getting ready to retire. Right. And he's like, what am I going to do? I said, we can't do nothing. I've been semi-retired since I was like 40. And you get bored. So just a few years ago. Oh, yeah. no, 
fifty two more. And uh, I said, you can only half ass the tire. I said, you got to do something to have your day go by, you know. So he put a little thing in his phone and made a clock, and he calls everybody, dude. And he's like, you know what, Mark? That's the acronym. And he, he's like half-ass retired dude and I'm like yeah we might have something there so we got it trademarked and we're out beating the street and getting our message out we just want people to live life don't we work too hard you know what? to so sit true. in a chair and die absolutely explain it Kenny what do we got Kenny so these are seats portable seats this is how they collapse and I, I have them, I learned about them from playing pickleball. Somebody had these courtside, and I was like, well, what is that? So they pull this wow. out, Yeah. and now you got a seat. Ooh. So if you're camping, yeah. or hiking, or you're doing something, this seat collapses out, and you got a really comfortable seat with you. So they take up no space, perfect for our gears, and they are space saving, you can't beat it. That's so cool. That's perfect for Batman Brandon, huh? So you have a summer weight comforter, the sheets velcro in. Sheets extra long to protect your comforter. Mm -hmm. Below you have a really nice mattress pad that's built into the system. That's your winter side, so you flip it over, it's good to 30 degrees. Oh, that's the winter side, this is summer side. Right. Gotcha, I'm following. The whole system is machine washable, so I'm not selling you a dry cleaning bill. Right. But all you're really going to do is wash that sheet. Right. The beauty of the system is when you get up in the morning, he would have the comforter, you would have the sheet, right? So Are you're you? just going to throw it back, the bed makes itself. Yeah. The trick to the system is, is it's setting on top of the bed, not so when you don't tuck a sheet, you don't have to re-tuck it either. The, we sell them king size, queen size, mm -hmm. and the size is referring to the actual size of the bag. Not like a king size, wouldn't be like a king size comforter that'd be crazy big, okay? okay? Just to be clear about that. So you guys, if you have a queen size bed, this is the queen size bed right here. Okay. Okay, this is the king size oh, bag okay. on the queen size because you want a little that. extra. And so we do um, two different flavors. One is the regular bag that zippers visible, like you would see the zipper on the edge. Okay, and then this is what we call a decorator bag. It has a skirt on it that's. The skirt is to cover the mattress completely. All right, well, we, we survived the tent. We survived the tent again, again, once again. It's not uh, our forte because th there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't have anything to do with RV, right? Right. But yeah, other but... than and, and everything in there is way too expensive. I got it. You know, we you know we're we're cheap kids, right? Yeah. I I did get I did get a purse. So I needed a place to put my, my sunglasses and my uh, phone, and so 15 bucks, that's not too bad. But yeah, I, and I was prepared this year, I think, for all the, the sales and the gimmicks, if you will, and yeah, just kind of took it for what it was. So we're heading to it. the discount table. Yeah, that's, that's where we got all our stuff last year, right. so it was fun. All right, let's see what we can find. Okay, so we found the solitudes, some grand designs. Reflection. Oh, a reflection off in the distance. Gosh, what should we go look at? So here's the deal. We love our grand design 2500 RL, right? Yeah. Love it. But Stan got a new truck <laughs> and it needs something to do. And we can tow a <laughs> little bit bigger. But we uh, love our trailer, <laughs> so. We're gonna take a look and see what we might <coughs> purchase in the future if we um, were to make an upgrade. Let's go check it out. There it is, the 303 RLS. Okay, 
this is, you know why I already like this one, honey? Because of the bathroom. The thing about the 2500 Imagine is the bathroom. I feel like it's an ensuite and you have, you know, it's right there by your bedroom and you can just shut the outer door and then you have all that space to get dressed, to get ready. And it's like perfect, so. Every sunrise is just for you. So come along and take my It's a 16 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So the price of this one, total MSRP is 87,524. It's too bad it doesn't have any lights, you know? It's, just yeah. like, it's so dang dark in here. So is this the, um, oh, this is the gas heater, the, the power, no, instant heat, right? For your gas water heater, wow. See, oh, it a, does. A little bit of weird placement. But we're just really getting started out. Uh, I've got, a, I've, I've got enough room. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Need some drawers. Well, I like it. <laughs> Can barely see you. We're waiting on opening day again. Yeah. The two nine three zero RL. So this is Tom and Diana's. That's the one. Okay. So this is. This is the one. Oh. See. Oh. Yep. That is theirs. This is this is the people that we met in Kaibab Camper Village at I the love, north. I love this one. Yeah, See, this is you know really why I like nice. the windows. Yes. Look at that. I love this one. Yeah. You know I like it. I'm gonna go show. Yeah. You. Look how cute these chairs are. And these are the ones with the storage under. That's, that's nice. And then they have the Thomas Paine electric, which Tom and Diana took out. You've got, where was did it? They, the washer they, and dryer? Did they take this out too? I can't remember. No, they had that. Look at all the, look at all that pantry space. Holy, beautiful fridge. Still have the, yeah, this is my favorite, right? I think this is the Furion. I love this window. Yeah, Furion. I love that window right there. Okay, this one will do. I like it a lot. Look at it. So pretty. You know what? I would probably do. I would yeah. probably do this one. Yeah. This is, this Skip the reflection and go right to this one. <gasps> oh, this is lovely. Right? I like this a lot. Right? Yeah. And like I said, Ensuite, or you close it off and you just have the bathroom for company. Wow, honey, and you have the window with the cap, huh? I do like this one a lot. Looks like a king size bed, too. All right, so we changed our mind. I think this is the one, and the truck would tow it, right? Yeah, it's got a gross weight of 15,000 pounds. I think the uh, compass connect. Yeah, everything's up in there. All the oh, beautiful. Ooh, you got a coat closet. try it wow look at that bay holy smacks look at people in there well that's nice oh wow that's pretty pretty nice okay so this is the 3121 rl and it's 115 pretty 
honey. This is really this nice. Is pretty comfortable. Yeah, look how nice. The, um, the There's kind of a little slant to the cabinets, which is fun. Big window, lots of counter space. I think this is a pop-up like electric. Like yep, boom. It offsets the white. Yeah, but I kind of like it. Look at that. This is very similar, so this would be comparable. You got your freestanding table and chairs. No storage under the seats. Thomas Payne uh, electric heated seats. The quality is pretty nice. Look at that. There's a fan up there. I don't know. We'd have to do our homework. Not, what is all this up here? Well, and, and the price. Wow. I need to see what the weight is of this thing. See what these enemy windows are on all yeah, this? Very, very similar. These things, when these things are like, like this, usually they put the, the, the antique the window down here. Look here like on this. the cabinets. I do like the poles here, much better. Much better. Not hurt. <laughs> This was too, this was too heavy. Too yeah, heavy? Yeah, it's 16,000 Too bad we can't look. Maybe we'll see a 2.9. Yeah, I'm not. But there again, I'm not a fan of that. So, all right. So, this one is a no for us. This one's a no for us. Too heavy. This one no go. Woo. And... The bathroom didn't have the one we like, you know? We're just dressed <laughs> much here. I know. What is that one? 38. Uh, too bad we can't go in that one. That's okay. You know, doors closed and doors open. I don't think these are the ones for us. Well, man, it didn't fail, did it? Got rained out again. Yeah. All right. We got to go back by this way, huh? This is 39,000. You get duct tape with it too. Look at that. <laughs> what is it with us? The, 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 was this? the RV show. Rain. Oh lordy. Tell me where we park this close. Right. Right. Oh. Woo! This? Oh, hallelujah. Gosh. Woo! Oh gosh, it is. Oh, it's cold. All right. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Did it again. No. Oh, I feel like a drowned rat. <laughs> I'm freezing. Well, we thoroughly enjoyed Quartzsite 2020. Two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, Let me do that again. We thoroughly enjoyed Quartzar 2022, but we got drowned out again. Again? Last year was the same Gosh, story. what is it? I don't know. We like to choose the rainy days, I guess. So, in a nutshell, good day. We went with our friends. When, when you come to the show, and you come to the show with somebody like Kenny, who knows a lot Very of things. Knowledgeable makes it a lot easier to make decisions on what to buy and what not to buy. Yeah, they've been RVing for 18 years and full time for two. Yeah. And that does make a difference. He was yeah. giving us a lot of good good input and good wisdom. And But it's always fun to kind of see what they have, see some of the RVs, but we actually didn't buy anything today. I got a purse and that's it. We got some ideas. And I think we found our trailer for the future. However far out that is, probably a good year out. Got... You never put a time on it. <laughs> we did the same thing with the truck. You never put it on time. We love the Reflection 303 RL. Uh-huh. And we love, love the Solitude 295. 293, I think. Is it 293? 293? Is it 293? Put it down there. Yeah, I think so. Rear living. 2930. I, I think that's our a, favorite. That I thought it was a 2950. It could be. It doesn't matter. 
It was our favorite. That's our favorite. So that's the top of the list. It's always fun to go take a look and check out, know what you guys want. Kind of before you go, what are your, know what you can tow. Know what you can tow. Because there's a lot of stuff out there that even though we bought our new truck, uh, that way too heavy for us to even tow. Yeah, um, and that's important. So you could find something you like, but you can't tow it. So you got to move on. For the first time, we actually walked into the Keystone, Montana. Um, there are some that we really, really, really like. Yeah. There are some that are just not for us. So. Yeah, could be for someone else, but it was overall a very um, successful day. I would say Quartzsite is an adventure. It's always, always an, an adventure. adventure. <laughs> well, and when it rains like this, we can never get to the good stuff. You know, it just. What is the good stuff? You know, the little flea market thing out oh, there. Oh, you, get all you the wanted deals. to go get that pole so you could wash yeah. your car. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all good. It's all good. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. We are here to encourage and inspire those who are over the hill like us to get out, get active, and find your new adventure. If you guys like our content today, Please subscribe and like, give us a big thumbs up Big thumbs up. and please ring the bell. It'll notify you of any future videos that we have coming out and we you control what you watch. Absolutely. This is the drown the rats are over the hill adventure <laughs> until next time. God bless. God bless.